What's up everybody, it's Par Disc Golf. I'm Josh, uh, today I'm gonna do an in the bag. I've been playing disc golf now for about a year, um, so I'm not a professional, I'm just a regular guy, I love the sport and wanna talk about it. Uh, I carry a Grip A-Series, um, it's been really nice to me, it's taken a lot of the stress off my back and my shoulders. You've got your two big drink holders, which was a really important thing to me because I love to drink water. You've got your pocket up top for your putters, um, this little personal belongings pocket. I keep my you know, keys, wallet, cell phone, whatever in there. This pocket, I'm not really sure what it's for. Uh, I keep a disc in there. Your main storage compartment here. Your little pocket on the bottom for your minis. Uh, I carry the Trilogy Mini. Um, plenty of you know, zippers for local club bag tags or whatever it is. You know, I have the Trilogy Mini. Um, a lot of people talk about this bag being just too expensive for what it is. Uh, it is a little costly. But if the girls can spend money on their shoes and on their purses and all that stuff, we can spend money on our bags. So let's get started. I carry three putters. Uh, I carry two wardens and a sinus or sinus, however you want to pronounce it. Um, this is 174. You can see it's a misprint. It's a great for an approach, uh, kind of upshot to get out and around some bushes or trees or whatever. I really, really love it. I don't get to drive with it as much as I want to because my home course is wooded. Um, and the trees would just eat this plastic up. I would love to see this in uh, more of a like a lucid kind of plastic, or not lucid, opto, I'm sorry for latitude, uh, just to you know take the abuse a little bit better. I carry two wardens, um, the black and the pink. They're both the same. They both weigh 175. And the only real difference for them for me is I use the black for inside the circle and the pink for outside the circle. There's no reason for it other than it just makes sense in my head, so that's how I do it. For my mid-ranges, I get them out, I carry five. I carry the uh, Moonshine Prototype Verdict. Um, got these when they first came out. Really, really enjoy it. I have actually just, last week they released the uh, Lucid Verdicts. Um, got one of those, haven't really had a chance to throw it yet, so this is sticking in the bag for now. Um, this is just a nice long glide over stable mid-range for me. Um, I don't see this one coming out just yet, no need for it. Carry the Truth. Um, this is a great tunnel shot or uh, kind of an Anheuser throw. Again, mid-range obviously. Um, this actually replaced the Warship for me. I know that's crazy, but uh, this did everything I needed it to do um, and it feels better in my hand than the Warship did. I carry three suspects, uh, the Lucid, Biofusion and the Classic Soft. Uh, start with the Classic Soft, it's a great approach, it's very soft. So, you know, it hits something, it just dies. It doesn't roll, it doesn't skip, it's just, it just dies. It's fantastic. The Lucid was my first. Um, it was given to me for my birthday back in May. Uh, when I first got it, it was pretty overstable. Since then, it's really, really broken in, just got beat up, and now it's very straight, and I love it. I use it mostly for forehand. Um, it's a great disc. I almost lost it last week, actually, and me and Jason were doing a snow round, and I about lost it, and it was, it was pretty bummed out, but we found it. Got the uh, Biofusion Suspect. I don't know if you saw our uh, Mystery Box video, but this was sent to us in our Mystery Box, and it was just perfect. I was looking for a Biofusion, you know, similar type colors, and it was like they sent it to me. It was just fantastic. It couldn't have been better. Uh, for my fairways, where you all at? I carry seven. Uh, we'll start with the Fury and the Underworld. Um, the Underworld was my original kind of understable fairway. Now it's just really, really flippy. Um, so when I throw it, I have to throw it on a huge, huge hyzer just to get it to pop up. And usually it'll carry out right and it'll just never come back. Um, you know, it's, it's really nice. I really like it. If I throw it flat, it'll just turn over and it'll become a roller or it'll just disappear into you know, wherever they go. Um, so it's great. The Fury though is what it complements it for me. Um, they kind of have very similar flight paths by numbers, but the Fury for me, I can throw flat and it'll go right and then finish off to the left. Um, or I can hyzer flip it, have it pop up, go straight, and it'll pretty much just hold that line straight. So they, they go together perfect for me. Uh, the Saint Pro, uh, this actually took over the triple X's spot in my bag. Um, a nice long, you know, overstable fairway. Um, I do miss my triple X sometimes, but this feels better in my hand, um, and I just, it, it's, I think it's done better for me. So this is it for now. You, 
it might you know get into a fight with it next year but uh, for now that's it got the trident 100% uh, utility this is uh, you know I don't have like a huge rolling type arm or anything of the sort but this is a good uh, you know overhand you know whether it's the thumb or the tomahawk for me um, you know or I can just flick it to get out of trouble or just a, you know a big kind of sky hyzer to get out of trouble but it's 100% utility uh, don't really drive with it. Don't really throw it a hole often. Um, this is, you know, just my get out of trouble disc after you have that bad drive that we all have. Uh, three escapes: um, the fusion, the bio fusion, and the moonshine. Um, the fusion for me is pretty straight. Holds the line pretty much the whole way. Um, I can put other lines on it and it'll handle it well, but it's really just my straight go-to for my fairway. The Biofusion, however, any line I put it on, it'll hold it to the end. So this is really, really my top pick for a fairway driver. Um, it's been great. I, I didn't have this one at first. I initially had the Lucid, and some people told me I needed to get this, try it out. You know, I'll never look back, and they were right. I got it. I've never looked back. I've bought a couple for other people. I have a couple backups. Um, this is the disc for me to have, and you know, I can get this probably 360 on pretty much any line I want. So. I can't complain at all. I have the uh, Moonshine Escape uh, just because it's a little bit more overstable than the other two so if there's a little bit of a headwind coming at me um, this would be the one I would use. Don't throw it a whole ton you can see it's still in pretty good shape um, you know this is just for that overstable you know 350 360 kind of throw um, and you know and again I can still pretty much put any line I want on it in a normal day but for me it's just my headwind escape. For my long distance drivers, I'll drop them. Uh, I carry two villains, um, the Opto and the Moonshine. Um, and again, same kind of similar as I was talking about the Escape, the Moonshine's more overstable for me. Um, so I got this one first, and this was supposed to be my headwind disc for my big drives. It was at first, and then, you know, like I said, my home course is wooded, so I smacked a few trees one too many times and just got it nice and beat up, and now it's very, very straight. Um, Still finishes off to the left, but if I, you know, if I put a little, little bit of an ante on it, um, I can almost get it to just hold the line. You know, it'll still straighten out a little bit, but it's not overstable like it was when it was brand new. My still my farthest throwing disc, still absolutely love it, but I needed to pick up the moonshine just for that little bit of more overstableness with the villain. Uh, I carry two trespasses, um, you know, the lucid and the, again the moonshine. Um, same reason as all the others. This one's just a little bit more overstable. This is very straight for me. This is going to finish a little bit harder to left for me. Um, and that's really it. You know, I mean, it's just again, it's that long distance, nice straight, soft off finish to the left for me. I carry a sword because I'm not an idiot. Um, you know, we play in the woods a lot, and a lot of times we're by ourselves. And if a dragon ever sneaks up, I need to be able to defend myself carry a giant this is now my headwind disc um, I don't really have the huge arm or the huge snap to get the true uh, you know the true glory out of what this thing can do but with what I do have this works perfect for headwind um, a couple holes you know but we're just standing out in the middle of the field and we've got the wind just blowing straight at us and you know you throw anything less than the giant um, and it's just going to turn over so this is my headwind it's about a 360 365 for me um, because like I said, I don't have that huge arm, but I know what it'll do. It's predictable. It's reliable. I can't ask for more. Uh, the Bolt being the final disc in my bag right now, and this is my long distance understable disc. Um, I don't throw it a whole ton. I think you kind of got the hint. I love overstable discs. Um, but this is a nice, you know, it'll go right, hold right, and just kind of finish off to the center. Or I can hyzer flip it and, you know, get a little bit more to the left out of it. Or I can even ante it a little bit and have it hold that line around. Um, you know, it's a nice disc. It's a little bit uh, f uh, flatter than what people prefer with the bolts. A lot of people want the Domi bolts. Um, I wanted mine flat just because it does what I need it to do. The Domi ones are a little more overstable and, you know, when I was picking up a bolt, I wanted an understable disc. So that was what I got. Um, now, you know, I do have, I picked up a couple new discs uh, this last week. I got the West Side World, which I'm thinking might be fighting with the Giant. I picked up the classic blend suspect, which, you know, that may or may not beat my soft suspect. Um, and then, like I said, I got the, uh, the lucid prototype verdicts. Um, so I'm going to have to give those a test and run for the money against the uh, prototype. But 
Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.